Today, Miguel and Daniel will be playing the role of an investor that goes to the Gaze Bank with 250,000 euros, willing to diversify it in 150,000 euros in debt obligations with an 8% cap on rate and a face value of 1,000 euros that is going to be paid semi annually. He also has 100,000 euros in a 10 year deposit bank with an effective rate of 4.5%. On August 2011, his son start, starts the university classes and he starts to pay 6,500 euros each year for the next six years with an increase of 2% for the next years. On the third year, he decides to, to cancel the deposit and sell the obligations because he wants to buy an apartment on the Swiss Alps. The cancellation of the deposit has a penalty of 0.05%. To solve this problem, we have elaborated a timeline in Excel. The number of obligations that I buy is 150. Since the face value is 1,000 euros and the coupon rate is an 8% with semi-annual payments, that means that I receive every six months 6,000 6, euros as an investor, and so it will be from the beginning to the maturity 10 years later. Besides, we have assumed that each year the overcharge of the coupons with respect to the university payments go to deposit, and that to calculate the interest on the deposit, we have to multiply the 100 by 4.5% plus the 6,000 by 4.5% divided by 2 because it's only the second semester. We already saw the interest rate risk that the obligations have, and that's why after the third year, and because the interest rate is now 4.55%, we decided to sell the obligation, obtaining a price per obligation of 1,204.89 euros, which makes a total of 180,727 euros, versus the 1,000, which was the price per bond before. We haven't suffered the default risk, however, we have suffered the inflation risk that we can see in the increase of 2% in the university fees. The YouTube maturity at the moment of the issue and of our purchase was 8%. The current yield of the, of the new buyer is 6.6%, resulting in a YouTube maturity of 4.55% since, since he has bought over the face value of the obligation. Uh, with respect to the 10-year deposit, take into account the investment plus the cash inflows of each year plus the 4.5% minus the cost of studying uh, we reach a balance after the third year of this amount that after the penalty of 66, of 66 euros we reach this amount Therefore, the result of the sales of the bonds and the cancellation of the deposit makes a profit of 312,057 euros that money will be used to buy the apartment in Swiss the continuous annual growth rate that comes from this formula will be 7.67%. The IRR, assuming that the bonds are reinvested at the same rate, will be 8%, but we see that they are reinvested at 4.5%, so the IRR resultant will be lower than the YTM. Now I'm going to clarify certain points that we didn't clarify in the video. The risk premium of Spanish bonds is the difference of the profitability of buying German bond and Spanish bond and the Risk premium is always measured in basic points. Our first three years, we receive a total of 36,000 euros in coupons of 6,000 semi annually. We invested a total of 16,107 euros that come from adding these three amounts around the first, second, and third year. And these amounts come from subtracting 6,500 euros from the 12,000 annually we get, increased by 2%. The deposit generates an increase of 4,635 euros the first year, 5,091 euros the second year, and 5,562 euros the third year. The balance of the account of the first of August of 2014 is this amount that after subtracting the penalty, which is a 0.05%, which is equal to 66 euros, the total amount stays in 131,330 euros.